Hello there. So today I'm going to build this Savage 65, and also I have another board from myself, a kickout that I will build on with a PC plate. So kickout will be gas key mount, and this Savage will be top mount. And I will see if I can build both because I just need to loop. <laughs> what you noticed? Yeah, let me see what's my plan to build. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, Polarize was like really long time ago and Twitch already removed from that. And for Instagram, I think I have the photo. I just didn't really post that. So I will probably post time to time. Okay, anyway, uh, the first thing first, the first board we will build today is the Savage 65. Sure, I think this is three day weekend and I probably will build something tomorrow and Monday as well. Long weekend. It's not a gummy or tofu. So if you want to do that, you have to Dremel the center pool and you have to have all the posts supporting that. And unluckily, tofu doesn't have those supporting uh, pole like what Unicorn had. So you cannot really do that. So the first board today is the Savage 65. We have uh, the FR4 plate and also the PCB. Okay, so this is all the hardware with the burger mount. So technically you can do burger mount for your top mount board like I did for my Meridian. to put it somewhere. Yeah, so basically what we will do first, yeah, actually the board itself comes with some custom made form, which is super nice. And also this is the stock poly feel. Yeah, we will probably put it aside. Actually these two nice navy dark blue board, they are really good. So this is not a keycard, this is called Savage 65. So you can see this is from Canon Key and it's a top mount board. So the keycard, yeah, let me show the keycard. Yeah, I think I, I'm running out of space soon. So this is the key card I'm being holding with. And it's a brass weight. And also the brass accent. Yeah, I'm probably building that with another keycaps. Yeah, that's my key card. So yeah, I think I got this key card not by winning raffle or not by paying aftermarket price. So I actually got the red, like, I got the raffle on some other keyboard earlier this year. And then I got the keyboard and some other good friends really want to have that keyboard and they try to trade with me on their key code. So I think that's lucky on me. Okay, so we will probably building both. So what we will do is looping the stabilizers for both. So 
So what we prepare for kickoff is the Duroc V2 stabilizers. And what we prepare for the salvage. Let's see. So we'll be using the Olivia colorway because the client asked for our Parker switches and they are perfect match with the Olivia colorway stabilizers. And for the kickout, we will build with the ink black switch. And they will be on the polycarbonate plate. Okay, let's see what's the best way to do here. Yeah, before that, I will also show the kickout hot swap PCB. Yeah, it's an unboxing event as well. So this is the... PCB we are going to use today. So it's a Keycard hot swap PCB. I think it's really a new one. They recently start selling because they used to have only solder PCB. So look at this gorgeous red color. And it has the daughter board. So that like the USB is center aligned and any vibration on the PCB won't affect that. So this part is already done in our kickout board. So we don't really need that. I don't think I have the plate here. I will probably grab that plate later. That's a difference. Yeah, I will show you the PCB for your polarize. Let me uh, take the time to grab that. Yeah, so the PCB for polarized. Okay, anyway, I, I will grab the plate for keycard first. Yeah, no worries. I'm just like unboxing a bunch of stuff. So you can see this is the keycard plate, the polycarbonate plate, and all six tab. They are meant for putting the gasket on so that when you like have any vibration, the gas gasket will absorb that. So that's for the key code. And next up is your PCB. Yeah, I think I hold too many things <laughs> and I haven't built those things for a while. So yeah, look at this. So this is your polarized palm PCB, oh, palm plate. And you can see this is also similar to the kickout. It has six tab. <laughs> if I don't have polarized, I might. Yeah, and this is the PCB. I mentioned that it will fit the polarized. It works for me, so it should work for you as well. Let's take a look. So 
So it's a blue one. Yeah, I think the blue is like more natural color. And you can see it has the flex cut. So ideally the PCB will be more flex when you type on that. And I test that before, so it's all working. And I think the only thing is like you can see this one, it's a little bit too much. Probably it makes sense to snap it because there's not no other places. Yeah, I will do that later. But yeah, I think this is a really nice PCB. Overall, it's like really high quality. And if you look at the logo, this logo and the key called PCB logo. So this have the same logo as the KeyCut one because they are both made by Wilba, which is a famous PCB maker designer. That means your polarized PCB will be high quality as same as the KeyCut one. Yeah. So you get the same feeling as the KeyCut, or maybe better, depends on if you like it or not, because sometimes People may prefer polarized Vega over keycard. Depends. But if you pay like two thousand dollars on a keycard, you probably won't think about that. Yeah. So it's about okay, how much time you spend on that, how much money you spend, it will affect your thinking. Yeah. Anyway, uh, these are all the unboxing. So we have the. PCB, the hot swap PCB for KeyCut, and its PC plate. And we have the FR4 plate for salvage, and its own PCB that's been Mumaxed. So this is Mumax socket that you can do after uh, for any sort of PCB that if you want I can do that but it's probably not really good for like gas kit mount because they are so flex like after you type too long they may just fail off I mean not the socket but the PCB itself Yeah, let me just make the music a little bit louder so that you can hear the background music. Sorry, I'm just doing some rough work. I need to, to have some paper tower. Yeah, also let me see what happened to my stream. I feel like my stream is a bit slow. Maybe I just used too much resource.
Okay, one thing is I didn't turn on my power adapter. <laughs> so the computer itself is using battery to support the stream. That's why. Okay, good. I found out before the computer run out of the battery. Let's see how it works now. I need a paper towel anyway. Wait a second. Yeah, I think the keycard bottom is a little bit strange in some term, a little bit too uh, different than, you know, like the regular ones. Oh, so yeah, I grabbed the wrong stabilizers I used for the clients. So this is the one, yeah, the other one is only two U, two two U's. Okay, let's start. Yeah, I just need more paper towel. So how are you doing today? Have you done anything fun over the weekend? Yeah, so... Welcome to my stream. I'm trying to loop my stabilizers for the keycard PCB and also the salvage PCB. Yeah, I think I haven't been out for a really long time. I probably don't remember how how's the feeling of like eating outside or eating indoor in other places. Yeah, I'm actually really scared. 
So these are the Durax stabilizers I will use for my keycards, keyboards, and these are the C3 steps that I will use for the Savage 65 that will pair with the alpaca switches. Yeah, you know, like Tesla last time when California have the big file, people just like drive Tesla goes through the file and they turn on all the AC and it basically protects them from breathing any harmful air. Yeah, so I think it's definitely a great way of protecting myself. So I like Durox stabilizers because they are more transparent, like translucent that you can really see how much loop you go with, that you don't over loop or you don't under loop. But I also like C3 steps because they are really like good looking with all the color scheme and also how it can provide you popping up the wire. So it's like trade-off. Do you like the color better or do you like the functionality? But at the end of the day, they are not too different because you won't see them anyway. But they are definitely better than the GMK stabilizers I used to have, which I used to build my Tofu keyboards. And then I regret, well, regret meaning I probably should get the Duroc stabilizers at first. But still, I spent a lot of time to tune the stabilizers, even they are GMK. Click the stem, leg loop them again again and again and then you realize like just spend maybe twenty dollars more you get much better Durox stabilizers or C3 stabilizers they just like save you a lot of time then you know okay sometimes spending money is definitely a better way Yes, my stream still dropping the frame. Yeah, let me check what happened. So yeah, I think it's still about the hmm. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Okay, yeah. So if it's working fine for you guys, it's maybe not that bad. I think it's about like dropping frames notification. Anyway, it's not like uh, I'm doing any sports and as long as the audio didn't really get very laggy, I'm still chatting with you guys.
<laughs> You're right. Yeah, I think the typing test is another thing. Yeah, maybe I should just like see what is the software taking most of memory or CPU at this point. Yeah, I believe it's the OBS, but I can turn off a lot of like development software that it may be still running. Yeah, I just open too many stuff and they may like just take a lot of resource. <laughs> okay, you're selling me that I should get a better PC for streaming. I get that. <laughs> but I think it totally makes sense. Yeah, this machine is not that uh, one that I probably should use for future streaming if I try to get it better. But it's definitely like something I can start with. And I believe the content is more important at first. So once I have more content, more audience, that I feel like I'm okay to spend more time, more money on the streaming setup, you will be the first one I try to find. So try, I'm just lubing these stabilizers for keycut, and next one I will like lubing the C3 stabilizers for your board. And then I will build your board first, then do some maybe typing tests. Then we have time, I can build my key card. So yeah, just want to like loop stabilizers at the same time because the setup of looping takes a lot of effort. I mean, not a lot, but just like taking out, taking back takes some time. So I'd rather just like batch looping all the stabilizers. Yeah, Mr. Frosty, you are my best client so far. Yeah, I always try to find good board for you guys and try to help. Yeah, I know in this hobby, like help is very important. If there's nobody helping me out, I probably won't know as much as today. And if you don't help out, I probably won't have so many board that I can build, which is something I feel like I really enjoy doing so far. Drug dealer, I feel like I'm probably also having drugs myself. See what I have. <laughs> yeah, once you start getting one keyboard, there's always another one. <laughs> I try to stay sanity when I provide any preference, any recommendation for you. So it's not the worst. It should be at least some good recommendation that you won't regret.
So yeah, I think recently I got uh, several clients inquiring about future board that I even like plan out for another like two or three board that um, I will build over next three months. Well, it's not over next three months, but it's after uh, three months or six months until they get the keyboard goodbye. Yeah, I loop and film your uh, parka switches using very mature technique now. I, I feel like at first, when I first loop my gate run milky yellow, I just like over loop. And after I use them, like for the first week, I feel like, okay, it's too much. But then I just keep using them for another two weeks. And finally, they just be become like really smooth and not over loop. Then I realized, okay, next time I should loop less, but it's actually really good after you loop and film. Yeah, the problem is not alpaca, it's about you like the heavy spring. Yeah, actually it's very hard to know if you like the heavy one or you like the regular stock, uh, stock spring because sometimes you have to try. And I believe most of people are okay with the stock Spring that alpaca comes with, like the 62 gram, or even uh, the silk yellow, which is 63.5. But once you get more boards coming and you try different switches, then you will know okay, which one you like. Yeah, I think I like alpaca a lot as well. They are like my go to switches that's. If I don't really have a good preference or uh, don't want to try something else, I may be getting a new board. I probably just get the Aparka switches. And that's why I will be building the Savage uh, 65 with Aparka. You love them even more? <laughs> yeah. I think another thing is like about your loop job. Yeah, the, over time you are getting better on your looping as well. <laughs> really? Okay, you know what? You should get the second build for Polarize soon so you can use your polarize again. Like let me loop your linear switches and build another build for you. I have everything except the hyperglide. <laughs> that was a tragedy. I never know. Like how come a given goodbye that used to have like one month lead time can be like a four months lead time goodbye. Yeah, I feel like at that point, I should be able to get refunds. Like the reason you go to that goodbye is because it says, we will get the hyperglide black switches by end of December. If you're telling me I will get on March, I probably will just like wait until people are selling that on the second hand market which is what people are doing now because they already get from Malaysia vendor.
yeah, I'm telling my customer to not ping me on Slack, just like tune in the stream. Yeah, the thing is like for group buy, like, yeah, that's also another thing that uh, for any given group buy, I don't really know before that you should take a look at the vendor. If the vendor is small vendor, it may not be sooner than like the larger vendor. So that's the problem that I've seen. So what happened is the Canon key in stock, Hyperglide happened on like January that I tried to get some, but they are running out of stock when I tr really finally uh, to like make the decision. Yeah, so the problem is, this is probably my first uh, key cap, uh, key switches group by that I don't really know a lot. I just like joined before I do bold research. I just know, okay, Hyperglide is a good switch and they will come before end of December. Yeah, that's what I heard. So I'm like, yeah, why not? It's just like a month lead time. I joined, I get the key, key switches. If I don't like that, I sell them. That's simple. It's not like, okay, if it's a four months waiting goodbye, I should definitely take a look on what the vendor is, what the key switches they are, and see whether I should go from there. And the problem is, okay, that sucks. Okay, cool. So the switches, oh, so the stabilizers are looped well on this one. Okay, anyway, I will put aside, let's start working on the salvage. Hey, Jolie, welcome. So I'm building two boards at the same time. One is this key card number one with the PC plate. And I just loop my stabilizers. And the other one I have is the salvage 65. Yeah, this is just the polyfill inside. And I think, okay, I will be able to clean that later. So now I'm just need to loop my stabilizers. And we are using the C3. You're building your mode. Which mode again? Did you get another one recently? So it's a little bit confusing how many parts I need, but I guess I just need to take them all. Yeah, I think the last time I built my own personal board is, uh, when is that? Is that like two, three weeks ago? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think I can only do client builds recently because I have so many clients in query. Oh, you got the regular one, yes. Yeah, is that all the pre-orders already shipped right now? Like it's already past January. I believe they said they will ship all the pre-orders by January. Is that target slip through? Uh, is all the units shipped nice yeah i think i also see people receiving their alpine 65 is that also like targeting soon or maybe they are just like streamer or maybe early people Wow, 
friendly mode sold out. Yeah, people like to get the keyboard if it's in stock. Yeah, I think that's why I probably will think about to get the Canon key TKL. I mean, not to profit, but to reserve for maybe next clients who want to build a TKL. Oh, yeah, I think that's what I saw. What make the e-white easy to make, or maybe just they have the e-white made earlier? Yeah, because they have the different process to make e-white versus other anno board. They take a mattress? What? Oh yeah, I think that makes sense. So if they get more e-whiteboards... <laughs> Yeah, I think right right now, like a lot of boards are uh, transit from overseas, and it just like stuck on the shape for months. You know, there were a group I called Rukia. It's a polycarbonate Alice keyboard that is supposed to arrive end of December, and the designers still didn't really receive any shipment from the manufacturer and nobody know if the ship or the shipment was lost yeah hype glide that's also the rumor like maybe the shipment was lost during that ship but turns out cherry never made those switches in time so cherry told the vendor that okay they will finish by end of december and now they said, okay, it's on track on March 12th. What the hell? Is that called on track? It's not on track anymore. Okay, we have three hyperglide group by people here complaining about that. <laughs> So I ordered some for Mr. Frosty and also Julie and I also ordered some together. Yeah, I think it's really good that this is a long weekend I have plenty of time to build the boards so beside this savage 65 I have another KBD pad <coughs> have you seen that before So this is the numpad from KB Defense and actually it looks like a smaller version of Polarized Meridian Vega Side Profile. Yeah, I think that's also designed by AIO3. Yeah, I see the PCB, it's also designed by that. For this one, Burger Mount, <laughs> it's over Q. Yeah, it's a match for 8x. I don't know if the color will match. And after this one, I also have a 8x to build, but I probably will return this to client before I even get that 8x because I ordered the 8x. And uh, I think the Chinese factory, not the Chinese factory. KB Defense is not op reopening before uh, next week. 
So I probably will have to wait until they start shipping that so I can get the 8X. Half plate for KVD pad. Maybe you should just design that as a plateless build. Yeah, actually I wonder what the typing feeling of KBD pad and whether people are doing typing tests on that and what kind of typing test do we want to see? Maybe typing all the data digit of pi. Okay, I will do a typing test for the KBD pad. Is monkey type has number only typing test? Oh, it doesn't matter. I just like scramble any digit, any magic number. So I'm trying to get some screws from an older board. So last night I spilled over my Crytox 205G0 on my floor. I had heart broke for a second. Then I realized the Crytox 205G0 are not that fluid. So it didn't really spill over too much outside. Wow, there's KBD, fat, uh, KBD pad tests. <laughs> well, I'm not accountant. So I don't know how people really type on the KBD pad, but I will try my best. Maybe I can learn something about accountant and do some project then show my progress. Maybe after that I will feel like, okay, I'm stuck with a numpad. I need to get a full size keyboard. And you know what? I haven't found any full size mod full size custom keyboard. The only thing I find was like a, like several years ago. One is called TX104 or 108, I don't remember, but it's a keyboard from maybe T, TX keyboard. Yeah, I feel like they were being in this industry for a long time. They have a lot of like old keyboards that I haven't heard about until recently client tell me they have some keyboard they want to build. Which is really interesting. Yeah, so one client had a TX75 that he ordered maybe like two, three years ago and he just like put in a box and never open that again. And recently he found out 
and decides maybe it should deserve a good build. I haven't contact him yet so far to know like what the switch he want to put because I don't really understand TX75. I don't think it will be even like QMK compatible. Well, I don't know. It may be. When is QMK started? Okay, let me see if I still have frame drop. Yeah, it still tells me there's a lot of frame drop. And I... Hmm. Yeah, maybe my battery really has problem. Or maybe I should really get a PC. And I just only use my iPhone to record right now. If I start using my camera with more higher like throughput, maybe it will be worse. Yeah, that's the thing. I just, I was not in the market for a PC until recently. Because all my work, I'm my like casual life, they don't really need a very powerful machine to do. So what's this? N Z X T B L D. <laughs> I feel like maybe ten years ago I was building my own PC, but. That was like really long time ago. Now I haven't heard any term recently. I just know okay people are getting the graphic card as like getting the keyboard. It's first come first serve like crazy. Service from that. Yeah, I will check it out, but probably I will go through the service from Miss Frosty. as well. I think he knows a lot. <laughs> yeah, you will be my PC builder, like I will be your keyboard builder. Okay, now I realize why Teha spent so long to loop the stabilizers. It's because all the friends chatting in the chat room. Wow, I make connection for my clients now. Yeah, I really love those water cooler looking. And also I know they are functional, importantly as well. So you are in New York City. <laughs> yeah, I know. You probably won't have such a big garage to build your keyboard here. Yeah, I think I, I really spoiled by the place I got. 
and it's definitely cheaper than in New York. I see a lot of vendors are in Texas. I believe they have a larger warehouse if you just rent in Texas. Okay, so let's put on the stabilizers. Yeah, my favorite vendor, Prime KB, they're from Texas as well. So I'm ordering all the stabilizers, switches, this keyboard right here, the Meridian keyboard. They are more made from Prime KB. Are not made from, they are sold from. And what's the other vendor in Texas? I don't remember. Well, is TX board keyboard also Texas? Yeah, I just don't recall. So this is the 7U stabilizers. Oh yes, 3D keeps. Yes, I recently ordered U4 socket from them so it's another tactile switches i want to have a try so i ordered 62 gram maybe it's too light but i don't really like the 68 because it will hurt my finger over long time oh you got that screwdriver yeah i think i like that like it has all the heads I need and also it just like take much less time to screw something or unscrew something I mean sometimes it's not that powerful so you still have to manually screw the last bit But overall, it still saved me a lot of time. So I think one client is asking me whether I can get the silent tactile switches. I think I recommend the UFO Boba, but I don't know where to get them now. Are they out of stock everywhere? Yeah, I always need to have one final talk. Oh yeah. Uh, so one up, they will not selling any UFO boba anymore. That's what they said in their Discord. So maybe yeah, maybe you should get from the person itself. Yeah, I think yeah, if you contact him, it will be the same price anyway. So no need to just go through a vendor. But now the question is, how can I contact? Well, I think I can Google that. But interesting, like it's all named by his name and also he's just making everything him own. And I don't know if it's from China or it's in United States because apparently if you need so many switches, they usually come from China. Nice, thank you. Okay, from Reddit. Cool, I will check it out. Is MK Ultra legit? Because I heard a lot of bad thing about them. 
Although I still order GMK North from them. Yeah, I think I heard that uh, if you order some foam from them, it may take a while to get it back. Yeah, I think those are the new tactile switches trend. So I'm personally not a huge silent switch fan. And that's because I tried, you know, O-ring on some switches before I, I, I was like, okay, is that just the silent switch is failing? But until then, I haven't tried others. <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah, if you send the keyboard to Kafu, maybe it take a while and uh, you cannot use your keyboard. <laughs> okay, we will see if we need to add more loop from the back. Okay, yeah, I will check out MK Ultra if I can get some you for boba for my client i will probably do that thank you most frost frosty yeah i will try to contact if i cannot find from the vendor yeah i wonder at this scale he can still manage everything himself you know what i mean like all the switches are really famous and people want to get them. Cool, yeah, I think I'm just like really new to the U4 series. Thank you for your guys' helps. Okay, let's test out keycaps. Yeah, I remember when I entered this hobby last year. It's really hard to find good switches everywhere. They are like sold out. And like fighting for alpaca is also a thing that you have to wake up early, get in the queue and try to fight for that and check out within like three minutes. And now alpaca switches last forever you don't need to worry about. Yeah, I don't think I understand the industry too much when I started. I'm like, how can I get anything if they are all sold out? What does fil filming do for the switches? Yeah, so for filming, yeah, if you have Cherry switch or JWK switch like Alpaca, once you open the switch, the housing may be uh, like untightened a little bit. So when you put it back, uh, it may have rattle between the top housing and the bottom housing. Also, filming just like add another dampening between the top housing and the bottom housing, so it makes the sound deeper. 
So if you like your Aparka switches, housing uh, filming will make it just like much nicer sound as well. <laughs> Gas key mount switch. Yeah. Uh, so one second. I need to pick up package from my front door. So what I've got is a Grey Studio Space 65 keyboard from a client, which I will probably build, probably not tomorrow. I need to loop all the switches the client gave me. Okay, so I need a 7U spacebar. Yeah, I mean the clients need to send me the switches earlier so I can loop for them. Otherwise, how can I prepare everything? Okay, let's hear that. Yeah, that's the Gok black on white. So I think I get three sets right now for clients. One is you, Frosty, and another is for the other Savage 65. And I will have another one for a Tofu 65. Yeah, I think the space bar stabilizer still needs a little bit more loop. Yeah, I think this one is just so nice. Overall, it has really good quality, nice print, good contrast between the legend. Well, it's definitely good contrast, but like the dark legend is really dark. Not like other Dysa PBT keycaps, sometimes you don't really feel like it's dark enough. Okay, I just need to add a little bit more loop. Minterly technique, plug the butt. Yeah, maybe just do for everyone. It's not like a good one. Network arrow, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's me or you because as I said, I probably need a PC at some point. Once I figure out how to connect that to my camera that I probably need higher throughput. And also after I get more streaming, potentially. Yeah, I think I have enough board to sustain for a while, or even sustain for the future. I just need to find good hardware. And also, great audience like you guys. Stream crashed.
Okay. Yeah, I believe it's on my side. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Can you hear any strange sounds from the background? That's my roommate cutting chicken. So he can make a good dinner. <laughs> my roommate make a really good cuisine. And he also had a really high standards. I mean, I like whatever he made, but he's trying to make progress all the time. Making improvements over and over. And I don't know, like, what's the difference? Yeah, so chicken can be really good flavor in Chinese food. Yeah, so I, I don't really know, like, even when he told me about the Chinese name for the cuisine, it's like something I haven't tried before. So it's about their own Sichuan food. And he came from Sichuan. And he really know how to make good Sichuan food, authentic. Okay, time to wrap up on the looping part. Okay. My favorite time comes. The switch installation stage. Okay, the alpaca switches. So this is Mu Max with the 03, uh, 0305 socket. So you can see the socket itself. A little bit popping out, but I don't think it really matters for this board. Yeah, for like higher end boards, you may have problem on that. So it all depends which board you are getting and whether that can be used for 7305 or 0305 socket. And this is definitely okay for the 0305. Well, can they just make different name on the socket? I really hate sp spelling them out, speaking them out. Maybe they should just cut the key caps, uh, key switch, short socket, or switch long socket. No problem. Take your time. Yeah, so I think my service provide looping is useful because I can make sure like the quality of the build. But also it takes a bit time to loop everything I have to build. So it's two side, double side sword. Yeah, I will definitely clip that. It will be good. I promise. Thank you. Yeah, I think the board itself is very important. I need to select a good board. You know, some like drop or maybe other 
bought from AliExpress. They may not be a good board, no matter how I build them. Thank you for your words. Yeah, I really enjoy talking to you guys and also just like overall serving everything. Yeah, I think I will be streaming for a while because I have two boards to build today. And I want to kind of compare the gasket and the top mount for you. And also the reason I've been a little bit tired of typing the Holy Panda with my keycard and, and the Meridian. So I'd like to have a linear build for my key code. Has anybody seen this switch puller? This is a fun one. Yeah, I figured this is much easier to remove the switch than the older one. And it's much more fun. And since I'm making a lot of disorder job recently, why not getting one? I think it's overall really good, but you don't want to use it on any gate around switches. <laughs> Actually, like the only gate around switch I have is the ink black and the ink black top housing is so fragile that whenever you use it, it will definitely snap, um, like break the top housing. So just stay away from the gate around ink black switches. Use for other switches. That's yeah, definitely fine. Yeah, I think I did a quick typing test for all the switches that I have so far with a keyboard and use this one to remove all the switch and in general it just like so much better speed but when I do for the ink black it sucks I put the wrong switch. I'm not putting ink black on this board. I think the more I type on ink black, I feel like I still like the alpaca or even just in general, the lavender switch sound. I'm not super fan of ink black. I wonder how is the sound of hyperblite or vint black? Hy hyperglite black? Is that close to the ink sound or is that close to the JWK?
closer to JWK, but better. Okay, nice. I think that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, if it's close to ink black, maybe it's not my taste. Yeah, it's interesting like the more people try switch it always go back to the cherry. Okay, the last one here. Okay, let's clear everything out that we need to assemble the case. So we have the case, we have all the hardware, that we probably don't need this one. And for top mounts, we need to unscrew the case first. So this person actually infilled the logo with some white polycarbonate. Is that what he said? I don't recall. But it's a little bit different than the usual one. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, take your time. If you are back, I'm still building this one. You probably will see the typing test. Yeah, I really find the weekend night time is not the po most popular time. But I think I'm fine. Okay, the Bergamont type time, uh, Bergamont.
Yeah, so this is also what I use to burger around my meridian. But it's designed for burger mount, so it has to cut out for this O-ring that it can sit well. But for Meridian, it didn't really design for a burger mount, so you have to try and fail. Like the O-ring may not sit well when you try to screw the screw. Yeah, but I definitely feel the burger mount better than the normal top mount. So I might need to try on my other top mount board. Yeah, the burger mount feels like it's a... Uh, Is that just called O-ring <laughs> mount, similar to what I did for my train mount tofu? So burger mount is basically putting o-ring on two sides of the plate so on the screw it will look like this one
Yeah, so if you look closer, you can see the O-ring squeezed from the top. Yeah, that's where all the top mount spot is. Okay, let's put aside all the O-ring remaining. Put back the case. Hello, the square banana. What's up? So I'm just finishing up the salvage 65 build, build with the alpaca switches, and try to wrap up and have the typing test. Then next up is the kickout number one sixty with the hot swap PCB and the PC plate. Oh, my bad, I forgot to put the case for. Unscrew. <laughs> yeah, typical mistake. I feel like I always forget something when I do the final wrap up. Yeah, I really like the case. The navy. Actually, if you really look at the color comparison between this navy from Canon Key and also this uh, deep blue from AIO3 Prime, Prime KB Meridian, like they are slightly different. I feel like this blue is a little bit more blue, and this one less blue ish. So it's all about the taste. But overall, I think they are great blue. And there's another color called Japan Blue for Savage 65. And I think that's more or uh, less popular. And this navy is definitely the most popular option out there yeah at first i don't really know okay what should i pair with navy like should i only get the blue set then at some point i feel like any white set black set 
even gray set can work with blue set, uh, blue keyboard and for any like blue if you really need to find a good match for the blue case sometimes it may not work that well so it's about hit as mess uh, miss so it really depends and also this one has the canon key logo infilled by the seller or maybe whoever get the board first this is another nice touch okay i am fully unscrewed yeah white is definitely a good contrast that's why i will probably put this gawk with enjoy ppt black on white okay so the case here we have the case for yeah i'm not sure if two layers will be too much let's have a try So this is the second salvage keyboard I'm building for the past two weeks, including today. Yeah, I feel like this one growing cannot make decision for my keycaps. Yeah, so what board do you have right now? Oh. It's you. Yeah, I think the keycaps it really take time. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to, you know, like match whoever in the Discord and whoever on Twitch unless they have the same name like me <laughs> yeah anyway yeah you're right it's really hard to imagine that without looking at good example so for your keycaps uh one thing i will say is the keycaps you're looking at it's very available yeah you don't really need to wait so that means it definitely has a lot of um, photos out there so one thing you can check out is the comments or uh, uh, the gallery photo section of that keycap on job and if you have found any people with that set a uh, similar key keyboard it would look, look nice and also remember any polycarbonate uh, case if it's clear or it's dark gray or black polycarbonate they usually match with a lot of keycaps so it's not really hard to pick a keycaps for that board yeah <laughs> 175 photos yeah you'd have plenty example to check it out i think that's the beauty of job even though job has um, really limited option they have install keycaps and for install keycaps they have a really large like inventory that people will always be able to get and then people will share their photos because one photo you share it will generate 100 points and then you can use the points on your next purchase and i believe 100 points is one dollar so it's a little bit cashback mechanism so gmkk caps are always sold out So it depends, like some keycaps on drop, they are in stock, some they are not. So this one, so if you look at base and middle LED, so these two color, I believe they are in stock for a really long time. And one thing about GMK keycaps is if you see a keycap set in stock all the time, it's either like drop this vendor is stocking that often or if it's not the perfect 
PCAP set for a lot of board that people may not pick it up. So that's like the risk. <laughs> so it's hard to tell if it's just like job restarting that forever. Or it's because people don't like it. And because when it's not that popular on the second hand market, if you don't like it someday when you sell it, you always have this vendor as your competitor, as a seller. So you will never sell above the cost. You will always sell below the cost. Yeah, I feel like I also had the same feeling. Unless you really know whether like that keycaps in stock is because it just get the extra. So look at this one. So I got this uh, GMK Gossbeat two weeks ago. And that's because they just have all the extra keycaps from their group buy. And then it sold out after several days. So at the time, like people don't really know if they were there because job is just restocking them all the time. Or it's just because people don't like it. But once it's sold out, people are stuck getting uh you know request to get them like can we get this restock and the answer will be wait for the next group buy of buying from aftermarket so yeah like if you time permits i will say like take time to look for good group buy keycaps key or look for the restocks hello service thanks for the follow yeah, so back to the keycaps topic. Like the classic one, like this one, the black and white. This is Enjoy PBT, got black and white. It's very classic. Yes, it's like a very unique um, position on this market. Basically, it can match a lot of good keycaps, a uh, good keycap. Like you can basically get it at any time. And when you sell, yeah, it probably sell below the cost, but the truth is like this one, even it's available a lot, a long time. Like it's still sell for, okay, I put at wrong place. It still sell out really quickly after it's restock. So understand what keycaps are worth buying or not worth buying. Here's another thing. That's why I didn't really recommend looking at the drop um, always in stock keycaps just because of people change mind all, all the time. And once you change your mind, you want to resell that. I don't want you, your money to be devalued. And that's not to say oh, only buy the keycaps that's uh, not in stock because it will be really hard. So what I will do usually is try to get the keycaps that can match a lot of boards so that I will always using that like for typing tasks, for client build. So one keycaps like this one can be used forever. I'll try to get the extras if you know they will finally sold out. So like for this GMK Godspeed. Okay, the hardest one is about the right column. Yeah, the thing is I don't really use right column, so I just put whatever key here that looks legit. Okay, what about page down after page up? Okay.
cool. Let's make a typing test with that. So on my garage, I don't have a fancy cable. I just have a regular cable. But it works. It's a cable. And we will hear the typing sound of this board and clip that sent to the client and also my other client who is interested into this board. Okay, let's see. Let me turn on the monkey type. Okay, I need to test if it can. Uh, okay, yeah, sounds like. The key doesn't really work for me. Left out, left wing, out wing. Okay, looks good now. Yeah, so let's do the proper sound test on this one. Yeah, I don't want to have it overexposed okay it looks nice at this point cool so this is the Savage 65 navy color and this is built with the Arpaka V2 switches looped with Quartax 205G0 and the stabilizers are C3 stabilizers also looped with Quartax 205G0 and it built with the FR4 plate and it has two case form below that and let's do our sound test And here's the mods. Okay, I think my... So this is not silent alpaca, this is the regular alpaca switches and I know if you will hear it to mute it or uh, silent, but yeah, like after you loop the switches, like the first days or weeks when you type on it, it will be a little bit like silent or muted because you have the loop on that and you need to type a little more to spread them out. And for silent alpaca, it will have a dampener on the slider for the stem of the switch. So whenever it try to bottom out and also back up, uh, the sound dampener will actually stop it from making more sound and it will be much more silent. So for this board, um, what you were hearing is definitely louder than whatever I will build on your keyboard. So you can definitely hear anything on this keyboard, but probably on the other like silent keyboards, silent alpha, 
uh, alpaca, it will be totally different. And to compare this top amount, uh, burger amount keyboard um, with another uh, tactile switch, Holy Panda, this is actually the another comparison you can hear. Let me put this one a little bit further so it can. So this is our parka switch sound. And this is the holy panda sound. Yeah, it's just much louder. Yeah, so the Holy Panda is probably the loudest switch ever in this industry. So whenever people mention Holy Panda, they are aiming for the tactile, the tactility, the bump, and also the sound. So it will be very loud. And you probably don't want to use in your workspace. And for like silent, uh, like silent tactile, silent linear switch, it will be uh, like really quiet and for just regular linear like you can kind of enjoy the sound of that but also not too loud yeah sometimes people will describe them as like ring drop and this top mount or uh, like burger mount is not the best um, way to show how the ring drop will sound. I think the gasket mount will be better. Yeah, which is probably something I will build next on this stream. Yeah, because I happen to mention this is a hot swap PCB from Keycout that I will build. And what's our switch here? So I will be building with the black ink, or uh, ink black, V2. Okay, the first thing first, I probably need to loop a little bit more for the stabilizers because that's always something nice to have. Yeah, let me turn on the music again and we can discuss about the topic of the keycaps again. Yeah, so back to the topic of keycaps. Yes, I think my philosophy is either try to find a really good in-stock keycaps that you can go with a lot of boards that you won't be bored with that. Like if you can get the GMK black and white, uh, enjoy PBT white, uh, okay, opposite. If it's GMK white and black, or uh, in Chai PPT, white, uh, black or white, okay, again, <laughs> if it's a GMK white on black, or uh, it's a in Chai PPT black on white, I would say if they are in stock, get them without the dot, because if you have second board, third board, those keycap sets never lost. Yeah. So for Enjoy PPT, um, 
I believe for the divinity key, they restock often, but the recent restock from China will only happen after Chinese New Year, so that will be March. But they will not have like you know newer design, so that's the problem. And for Enjoy PPT, there will be some group buy. So if you are interested into that, joining that group buy will have definitely like less turnaround time. So uh, I remember like the key cap set running last year, October or maybe like September. It's already shipping to the customer. So it's been a uh, like half year turnaround time. So not too bad. But if it's GMK right now, you're looking at one year turnaround time. So you definitely need to think about that if you were looking at GMK. And that's why I feel like for Enjoy PPT, if you like any theme, go for the group buy. And if you like any GMK on the group buy, and you don't have that patience, forget about that and try to know what extra will be sold. So look at all the group by running like one year ago. That's what my suggestion will be. So just look at what I have for GMK. So I have this GMK DMG. I have GMK Ghost Speed. GMK Bingsu. And the GMK Olivia. And the GMK Sandstorm. GMK Taro, GMK Orsa, and the GMK uh, Five Fly, and I got them from Kono Extra. Taro is from Novelty Extra. Stands them from uh, Switch Mode Extra, and Olivia is from Z Frontier Extra. Bingsu is from Project Keyboard Extra. Godspeed is from Drop Extra. DMG is from the Key Company Extra. Yeah, so overall, what I find most immediate working one are all from Extra. So that would be a good option if you were looking at good keycaps. So the key, the GMK keys caps that you mentioned, those are probably really old ones. So what are the latest one that get shipped out and may have extra uh, that works with the charcoal colorway? Yeah, let me think about. Yeah, let me see if I can share screen on like what I'm trying to find. Yeah, I'm still new to the streaming, so let me see how I can add the website source. Okay, that's not... I add a window browser, window capture. Okay, let me shrink the window.
Okay, how can I find the crumb? Okay, this one. Yeah, so basically what I try to find is usually like go to this website. Uh, what's the website called? Keyboard. So from this website, I will go to GMK keycaps. And then I will look for what what the recent one that people are mentioning. Like for example, I think the recent one people were mentioning uh, mostly like not notice. So you will see, okay, how much were sold? Like usually a uh, keycaps with more than a thousand sold were pretty popular and vendor were definitely stuck up on the extra site so you will see how it looks and you can also click the link on original group by and for original group by you can get idea of what that keycap site uh, keycaps is designed for and you can have the render okay this website is really slow anyway uh, you will be able to get idea of the keycap set itself and knowing people were getting them and maybe they will be extra soon and also like knowing people getting them is seeing like how many GMK were um, sold by people on the rec Mac market like this one also very popular recently so that means the recent sets around that time were just like getting out recently like okay I get the taro I get the ghost beat and you basically can check out the recent ones. Botanical is also a very popular, you can see it's sold for 2000 and it's a jungle, bamboo, succulents, like it's a botanical um, theme. Actually this will be a good set on polycarbonate keyboard, even it's a like dark one yeah so actually like around this one like from burgundy yeah it didn't get extra yet moon dust dark I know there will be dark for the extra soon yeah this one this is really dark <laughs> and I think the dark the key company will have the extra soon ish i don't really remember what their discord saying the key company released calendar so gmk dark limited quantity february 23rd so this is a keycap that will be having extra soon so yeah like um look for actually like olivia also, they are already running extra. So dark haven't been, darling already. Fun things haven't been, modern dot light haven't been finished. Godspeed already been done. Taro already been done. Botanic not yet. Kaiju still on drop. Yeah, so basically look at whatever people are selling recently and see if they will have extra soon and try to get them if you like them. That's like my suggestion. Okay, let's continue working on this keyboard.
Yeah, I try to be more informational if you really want to know more pro tips chat with me on the stream or on discord yeah so for extras um i will recommend one discord they have a lot of um you know information about the upcoming group by which is actually the Mer like mac group by channel so let me try to invite people so this discord will have a lot of information about restocks and extras as well as all the upcoming group buy so you won't really miss anything by joining this one and for other uh, discord site they will be a little bit too much to join if you were just like coming to this hobby first because that will be too much noise and i start just like ignoring the message people are posting and then i realized this website actually get pretty good coverage for most of things that you want to have a try no matter it's a keyboard keycaps or just in general like extras Yeah, but my way to know which extras I should look out is really just looking at the calendar and looking at uh, what the vendor they have and maybe sign up the vendor newsletter then you will get a bunch of newsletter week by week looking you and saying you want to buy this one it's and soon you want to buy that one it's extra tomorrow okay let's see if i can put this one back to the plate I don't want to end up not be able to put it back. Okay, still doable. So this hot swap PCB actually were single layout. Basically, it's the seven U bottom, and also split right space, a uh, split right shift, split right backspace. So for hot swap PCB, there's no uh, like solder required. So it will be easy to switch swap out with other switches you have in mind. And it's not really like common to a lot of keyboards unless either the keyboard is designed for a hot swap like the Iki 68 Aurora. So for hot swap keyboard, I probably won't charge too much on the soldering because it's already been done. And I probably just do mostly on the assembly stuff and fine tuning like the stabilizers and for solder you have more layout option and a lot of high-end keyboard only have solder PCB so you have to do the solder that's another story and I think Keycout used to have only uh, solder PCB and this is their new hot swap PCB and I'm trying to see whether it will be nice to get a hot swap PCB for all the future key cuts because if it's not high quality oh, okay I shouldn't use this board.
So for this keyboard, I already built the keyboard before. I just need to swap the in middle part with this new insert. Okay, my remaining switch on, on my another keyboard, I need to grab that. So this is my E7V2 prototype coming from exclusive. So I will be using the switch from this one and also maybe the keycaps from that one. I haven't used Bingsu on a white key keyboard yet. Not sure how that looks. So I haven't tried any PC played on a gasket mount keyboard. So this will be interesting experience for me as well. Yeah, I believe it's very popular for people to use it on Vega when they want to have a flex typing experience. But I get the aluminum version for my Vega. It's just because it's the default option that I don't need to spend additional five seconds to swap the switch uh, option and lose out the cell entirely.
Okay, it's almost done. And I can start getting the case ready for this internal swap. The market will expand in March after Chinese New Year. So I, I don't know if like the market itself will expand or just like the production will keep up. So in general, a lot of productions like kind of stop during the Chinese New Year, especially like this month, February. And f like factory worker go back to home and may find a new job after Chinese New Year and need to learn something again. So it will have some kind of like downtime overall. And what's interesting usually is for like key keyboard manufacturer, you want to kind of like make sure everything is shipped before that. Okay, so I'm gonna put this key keyboard aside. Also the keycaps. And we will get the keyboard itself. Yes, this is ink black and it's aimed for the saw key sound. So it will be different sound than the alpaca switches we heard earlier. So alpaca is more like clacky, like nice, a little bit higher pitch sound. But for ink black, they are deeper sounds. So if you aim for like the deeper sound, ink black are the ones you want to have a try. Okay, so let's unscrew. the right one and none of them are really like silent as silent apaca So the key card number one, sixty percent, is actually a gas kit mount keyboard. So it basically have the top case, bottom case mounting, 
the plate using this gasket. So we have six gasket here and also six gasket on the bottom case. And it use a daughter board. So we need to unscrew the cable and we will put this one aside because we don't really need to use them. And then we drop in the new one we made just now. And let's connect the daughter boards. Okay, it's much lighter, yeah, because the other one is um grasp. So we have the alignment pin. We just want to make sure it fits the alignment pigment. And then we have our plate sit on the bottom gasket. So you can see so goes going through the PC plate there will be gasket on the bottom. And then we will put back the top case. So it basically sandwich the case together. Then when we flip over and try to screw the screw back. Yeah, I find assembling keycard has one little caveat that the top case will probably drop if you don't have anything to hold that. So it's a little bit tricky when you try to screw the case back. Okay, I just found out my screwdriver almost running out of the battery. So it's right on time because that's my last screw to do tonight. Okay, so we have the case closed up and the side and the back and also the side okay so it's the time to put better keycaps
Yeah, I think the pink suit would be a good match on E white, just because it has the white accent. What do you think? This is a really popular set that at one time it for sale uh, on the Mac market for like a, a much 320 yeah that's a lot like you shouldn't spend that much money on a keycaps <laughs> yeah I think the charcoal like black white key ca uh, key keyboards or uh, pc or even like dark pc the black pc they all look good Okay, I need more keycaps from this being soon. Okay. okay, I have nowhere to put the board away. Really? Okay, I should try to find some example for you, let's see, because I feel like that would be an easy one to match keycaps. After all, I think the mint will be hard. Mint will be definitely hard. Yeah, because I think overall the charcoal will be not that hard. So let me try to find you some example. If you had hard time to find yeah I didn't realize because I thought that would be easy well where's my code? or meta or anything it didn't have those keycaps what oh super it's here okay next question do we use the regular one or do we use the white okay let's use the regular Okay, now let's have the time to do sound test. Yeah, super is actually whatever like meta, code, system, win, means. So it it's okay. Okay, I don't think I have config this keyboard yet, but I just need to have the backspace config first. Oh interesting it config somehow in a way that i can do a typing test yeah i will drop out after typing test soon so let's focus on this one for really quick
Okay, so this is the key card number 160 built with ink flag v2 looped with Quartox 205g0 with Durock v2 stabilizers looped with Quartox 205g0 and it's built on a polycarbonate plate and here is the sound test let me drop the mic I mean drop next to the keyboard Yeah, this is really deep sounds. Like um, people describe them as sucky, like not high pitch at all. Okay, here again the holy panda, the clacky tactile loud sound, and ink black, the sucky deep sound, very muted. Yeah, that's totally two different words. Well, this is what I have have today so far. Okay, I don't need the cable. So I think that's the two or three mainstream sounds. The Holy Panda, Bergamot. ink black on PC plate gas came out our parker on burger mount FR4 plate yeah that's like a very unique signature combination of these three okay question do you have any silent parka or parka build to compare not yet. I will order Silent Aparka next week and hopefully can get by end of the week then I can try, try it out. And yeah, I think we have plenty of time to figure it out. If we don't really like that Aparka, Silent Aparka, we still have time. Okay, cool. Uh, I have to go. Uh, thank you for turning in to the stream. And it's right.